Hey everybody, welcome back to Valhalla and Jesus Christ. I still can't believe this. $8,000. This better be for the whole fucking year, because, yeah, oh Jesus. Oh, boss left the hoodie anyway. Oh, where is it? I want the, I want it, I want, I want the hoodie. December 19th. Good evening, Gil? Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. See, Jill, he's been here on Monday like no- He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What, are you going to make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign you're still alive. So you were worried? Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. He he's becoming a surfer dude. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry too much. Check if the cats didn't come... Didn't move the internet antenna, would, would you? Fine, fine. Yeah. Hey boss, why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it. But most because I thought you totally look cute with it. Oh god damn it, boss. Uh, I, I see. Don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours, it's just... Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. R right. Are you still still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, but you know. All we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here as best we can. Oh, life lesson from the boss. Yeah. So cheer up. Clients smell sadness and fear. We don't want that. I'll go to my office. Okay. Tennis fine. Did I miss anything? Not really, no. Anyways, let's start the day. I like th I like this um list too much. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Gil. Mm -hmm. Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse. I'm assuming this is a guy. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss! Some Brian guy is looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. She'll be... Ah, uh, you heard her. It's alright. I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Oh yeah, he's got the little BTC thing. Yeah, I guess that's... Well, um, I guess it didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> don't worry, I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. You got a big forehead. It's like Saitama. Handle me like just another client. Yeah, Alright, I can do that. Why can't I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with basics. The sugar Rush. Coming right up. Okie dokie. Uh, one. Oh, one, two, one. Ah, let's give him some care of mine. Yay, he wants it. Okay, good. Here you are. Yeah, that one's nice. Back in training, they made they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They like the fried eggs and mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. 
Sugar rusts are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh, they never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Dana talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerned the clues you're warning about how I got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Oh, thanks. Don't mention it. Now where to start? Hey, you said the news on the information leak during Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in the ranks? Yeah, that's kind of bad. Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those folks have been trying to loot legal pro problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover up their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it has apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla, any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closer notice is due to low sales? Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would be closed every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Hmm? If it helps, I'm doing the best to peel your face. Really? Why? Most of Glitz City bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that a whole Farmer Fabrics affair, uh, Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't give my hopes up though. Especially since BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough, thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, suplex. Give me one of those, please. Sure. <laughs> give Brian a suplex! Wait, so the suplex was actually made here in Valhalla? I mean, that's what I'm getting at. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Rocks. Yeah! Manly drink! Here. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Yeah, so you're Robert? Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill called you Gil, though. Uh, it's an Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Yeah, I see. Sorry, Brian. I was sorting some stuff in the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, you? Not really, no. Although... If you were evaluating my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of correct orders and top nuts, bartender. Oh, thanks. Now, if you excuse me, I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl from Red Mohawk. Ah, uh, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Oh, hey! Oh, God, I fucking forgot your voice. Uh, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella. Oh, give me a big beer, please. Uh, sure, hold on. A big beer? Yeah. Okay, so one, two, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And mix. Are, are you sure you're fine? Um. You know, sigh. Oh god, what happened? Of course, what's up with her? 
She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during the whole affair, and... Right, that. So, she... She didn't show up on the list of massive body count in the aftermath, so... So, maybe you've seen her? As much as I'd love to say I had... Yeah, I figured as much. Man, the air's suddenly a lot heavier. I mean... I could tell her everything would be alright, but that would sound a bit condescending. What does one do in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke? Nah, that'd be tasteless. Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough. I don't think clearly we're under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there was a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry, I'm a, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe you'll want his service? What's his name? I believe it was Art... Van, no, Von DeLay? Oh, that Art guy. Yeah, I hired him yesterday to look for Psy. Oh, so you still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now, and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me the answers about Psy, whatever they might be. Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry, no, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I'll usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. Right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. Glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet that'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Something sweet and calm her down. Sweet. Not sugar rust. Stable star? It's happy. Ah, blue fairy. It's soft and sweet. Okay. One, two, three, four. One. Yeah, let's 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 get her. She can use a little drink. Uh, aged. Here. Thanks. Seems you really like Psy. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So Psy's more than a friend to me. She's... She's... Sorry, I brought that topic up at least. This is not the proper music! Um, don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. Someone who I can trust wholeheartedly. I say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They're, they use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know. I do the same. But with Sai, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm useless pile of flesh. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of that level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm going to take my break. You could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. Fine, thanks. Okay, then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take break. Sure, leave it to me. Man, shit is hitting the fucking fan! Ah, uh, let's save the game.
Always save the fucking game. Oh god, this fuck. Th this always freaks me out. Like, why do you mean it's safe? God damn, it's chilly outside. I bet. Eh? What would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in. Cat boomer girl greets him. They start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Corp offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started bad mouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. He was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Well, I don't deny Zaibatsu Corp is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, by enhancing you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? I forgot his name. His, I forgot so many fucking voices. Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again... I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know, and true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of Zaipatsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started would make huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AI as citizens. Oh, that's good. That's, that's good. Yes, but we also hold the AI reform reformation program. Meaning that we're also the world's Lilum prison. AI went rogue, transferred to a delivery drone that ships it to Glitz City. What's stopping it from leaving? That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point, although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about the 88 success rate for nothing. Um. The city also has a stronger economy. Zaibatsu Corp's success has made for more companies bringing their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet in your face. But it also means more products being bought to the lower classes. Stories have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Ah. Zaibatsu Corp's main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those that can afford them. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medi medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there's also more jobs. All of the companies com coming down here need people. So the unemployment rate has gone down 40% this year more jobs shut up am I wrong well that hey you don't just sit there give me a Zen star sure let's make a Zen star for the short babby <laughs> I like how he outright said shut up four of each gotcha one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four, one, two, three, four. rocks Here? God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, they're still a luxury belonging to only a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones who point, whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature, whatever. I'm going to take the chance to ask you about the job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you she wasn't at the bank when it opened up that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the thing ended. 
All the corpses were accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend. That much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just happened to come by here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. See, thanks for... Thanks, keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. I hope she... I ho hope it's the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Sai might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Uh, just give me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <laughs> On it. Two bad touches. Better make, make them before I laugh hard. Oh, grow up! Like, god damn it. Come on. Uh, rocks. Thanks. Yeah, rocks. I remember this one party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. He didn't seem offended to me, though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. <laughs> Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? <laughs> I'm fine. Now that I think of it, did you find the girl that you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Von Daly? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl. Someone paid me to look for a Crimson Rose, and she happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about with Sai is people. Why's that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problems getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself well, I once saw her take care of a war bot gone haywire by herself. She did need some medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not the only physically fit. She's not only really physically fit. She's also really good with Krav Maga and something wrong. No, nothing. I just realized I forgot about all that. Sai's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. I just hope she's well wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. Want another drink, Mr. Von Daly? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay, then. I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine. Get his order. Piano man. I should give him piano woman. Uh, Rocksmith. are. So this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find anything else out, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Alright, then. You've been generous today. He made, he made my night with his discoveries on size situation. Oh, she's so happy. I mean, the eye is fucking creepy as hell. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Oh, that's it for me. Oh, but that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come back again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. <laughs> Thanks. This place is soothing. Yeah, I, I got the good music on now. I guess I'll go sit over there near the arcades. All right, then. That would be all, Dan. Quite a mess, the situation with him, Robert. What? Brian, we have a meeting in an hour with MI6, Hall C. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, oh, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. Who the fuck are you? 
Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill, we'll be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Um, this whole phone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. <laughs> you call me Cass, by the way. Uh, I'm Jill. S say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone. And wouldn't you say it's more interesting that way? It finally hung up. <sighs> it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. I have arrived yet again at oh god at the majestic hall of heroes. Calm until now. Greetings again, bartender. Oh, we're cutting the video here, guys. Ah shit, I skipped some stuff. You look winded, Virgilio. We are all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. And yet you're the only one in the vic and oh god damn it! And yet you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's uh, I was jogging. Just like that. I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake, of course. Something fake, eh? Oh, let, 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 let's start the shit. Huh. Oh! <laughs> Here you go. Now, tell me why this is fake. Because I didn't even try. Your expectations of me giving a damn about the abstract orders order are fake. Bravo, brilliant. Say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble du duties of carrier eater at the Steampunk Museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for people that visit the premises. But lately, my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me, stop touching the exhibits, you're going to break them. The nerve of some people. <laughs> he still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines wouldn't be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay, then time for your next challenge. Okay, then time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. He wants purity. I can't give him pure greed, so... Um... Alright, well, let's start. Friends Weaver, Frothy Water. Mercury Black. No. Huh. Ah. <laughs> actually sparkle with too many complaints about the skin problem. Man, you okay? Uh Sunshine cloud. Suplex. I want to beat this guy. I want to beat him. Cobalt Velvet Brantini Blue Fairy. 
<laughs> I'm kind of tempted to give him a Zen Star. Let's actually look here. Four, three. Uh. Mm. I know one of these has like, yeah, Fringe Weaver. He wants pure. Let's give him pure. Uh, eight. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful. Uh. Hmm? Hey, you. The guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think... No, 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 no. We haven't met ever at all. That's an interesting reaction. Bill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks, huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? That face, that eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um, did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Are we done for today? Yep, quite, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit, that Virgilio guy. You two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Gill stuff, don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while, so I offered him a drink when we meet last, when met last week. I talked to him about, about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to um, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Uh, oh. I was also turning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy. An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Yeah. It must be nothing. Oh, Brian gave me 500 cash monies. Sold our massager. We could buy that real quick. Ah, 600, that's fine. And we're making profit. Oh. What? Wait, can I actually click on shit? God, that fucking shirt. Oh, did I like turn on the uh, thing? For I need some me time. <laughs> Use the bathroom. Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, God, we are. Oh, no. You know what? This video is only eight minutes, and I think this is. Oh, gee, I need. Oh, wow. They actually fucking did. Uh, we're stopping here.